Hello all of you DIYers, my name's Dylan Taylor, this is Dylan's DIY Workshop, and today I'm going to teach you something new. Alright guys, so today I'm teaching you how to make one of these. Kind of just looks like a chunk of wood, doesn't it? Well, yeah, it kind of is. But, it's a tiny, tiny little box. It holds on to this very nice file right here. So I did this with intentions of keeping all my files safe because when you have like a bunch of files sitting together in a drawer and they rattle back and forth it ends up dinting like denting like you know folding over the the crowns of each tooth and then your file doesn't work as nice as it should so to keep these all in like tip-top shape I'm making little tiny boxes for each and every one of them so the one you see me make in the video isn't this specific one that one actually cracked in half when I was using the router to make this little slot here. But the idea is the exact same, the process is the exact same. So go ahead and watch the rest of this video to see how I made this right here. She said, I recognize you, baby, think I know who you are Said, I recognize you, too You're looking kind of cute, and big You're the type of girl I like to stand next to Why don't you give me your number? I'll call you sometime you Said, is that the best you got? You gotta use a better line And that's your average, too Run on the mill See the girl, pretty girl Don't be looking for a thrill I'm a redneck woman Oh, I'm just a boss I'm a boss I'm a boss I'm a boss I'm a boss if I can climb above a mountain, I'm sure I can get with you. So you say, come back next week, then we can speak. I just ain't got you figured out. I need to get a better read. So I keep it so on. I can't stop that. You ain't no excuse, man. So hard to get in. I've been so persistent. I'm starved for rest. But she still keeps playing. So hard to get in. I've been thinking about you. Dreaming about you. Words I can't explain what I'm feeling about you. So that you got me. Another week rolled around. I met her downtown. Ordered up around, found the table, sat down. Eyes were burning through me like a thousand burning suns. But I've been burning for you, baby. Then he can make me run. I said, What you think you got to read on me? He said, I just don't know it. You got to show me something, baby, something I ain't never seen So I put my lips on her, I said, back, go right off her feet I said, kiss me, baby, let me know how it feels Cause if the chemistry is right, the sensation will be unreal I put my hands on her hips and we lock lips And then the fireworks are sorted cause we both took a trip That's why I keep it so on I can't stop it You know she keeps playing so hard to get in I've been so persistent, I'm starved for rest She still keeps so hard to get in. I've been thinking about you, dreaming about you. Words can't explain what I've been feeling about you. So let your guard down for the night. Promise in the morning, everything will be alright. Promise in the morning, everything will be alright. Yeah, yeah. This is the only one that I could find right now. I have another smaller one that fits this finger file perfectly, but it also fits three pencil crayons perfectly as long as they are this length. So what I did with them is, you know, I, I put three in there that I would draft with, a brown for wood color, a silver for metal color, and then whatever other color I felt like using, like usually a blue and then I could draw just about anything. And then I'd, I'd have a better idea of what it looked like than if it was in color. And I feel like somebody stole that from me at school. It's either somebody stole it from me or it's sitting in a box of the stuff that GP Woodwork sent me. 
one of the two. Either way, that would that'd piss me off if somebody stole it because somebody already stole my knife from school. It was one of my woodworker's knives, the one that was actually in my DIY video that had the car candle. I don't understand why people do that. Back to this thing though. It's got a very, very thin lid. It's got a little bit of play. It's good to have this little bit of play so that when it swells or contracts during the seasonal changes, it'll still work and it won't get jammed in there. It's also, it's, it's a good idea to not have too much play in here just so that the file doesn't rattle around too much. And this way as well, up and down. And you might also want to give yourself just a little bit extra on here so that you have something to grab onto. My other one, I filed this down so that it was a little round disc and it, was, it looked nicer than this square sticking out. So unfortunately, this is the only one I can show you guys. At the same time, it completely shows exactly what I was trying to explain to you guys, show you guys how to do this. Real quick, I'll just go over the process. You could skip to the end of the video now if you want, if you know how I did this, but I didn't really explain myself through the video. It was just kind of a time lapse. So I'll explain myself now. I took the piece of maple, I ran it to the size that I wanted, and then I flipped it upside down, ran it through the dado saw at this size dado, all the way through, then made sure that it was equal on both sides, and then put these two pieces on the end, sanded them down, and then ran a little tiny uh, channel down through here with a router bit. It's kind of like a zip style bit. I don't know what exactly it is. Then after that, I just took a thin piece of maple, sanded it down until it just fit perfectly, and slid it right in here. It's as simple as that, and I love the way this looks. The other one is even better. I wish I had it to show you guys. But the grain goes from right here, right onto this face, so you don't get any ugly lines. It just continues right from one to the other. Thanks for watching, everyone. Make sure you subscribe if you like this content because it really helps me out and it also it helps you out because you get first class seats to all of my brand new videos and you get to see them first too. So again, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>